Is there a message to the direct selling industry on next steps after the Burn Lounge case on personal use? Good question. In 2014, the year ended with a pivotal Burn Lounge decision by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals recognizing the legitimacy of personal use purchases in pyramid legal analysis, ending 20 years of debate between the industry and the FTC. Now is the time to move forward to support the brand of direct selling by finding unifying common ground where a model schism seems to be surfacing with party plan classic direct sellers challenging the direct selling credentials of person-to-person -person consumable MLM sellers. In order to bridge the gap and recognize the business legitimacy of both branches of direct selling, perhaps it is time to re-examine the nomenclature of the direct selling channel of distribution to use overarching branding definitional terminology, refer referencing direct selling as comprised of two branches, person-to-person -person selling and referral selling. As one American troubadour notes, Money talks, but it can't sing and dance and it can't walk. For the direct selling industry, legal decisions seem to have swung to the positive, but industry observers always await for the other shoe to drop. Lack of legislative and regulatory clarity. Regulatory clarity means that the industry is only as secure as its last court opinion. Until federal legislation and the FTC rules are amended to recognize that distributor personal use of products is within the paradigm of legitimate direct selling as opposed to pyramid scheme, a cloud will persist on this type of marketing.